Welcome to Setting Vessel Seeker. In this episode, the torque converter goes back into the transmission. The transmission goes back into the boat. It only was $200 from Performance Torque Converters of Texas. Thank you to Mr. Souza for the torque converter eliminator picking up that tab. You're no longer a bilge rat. We appreciate you. We appreciate our bilge rats too. But if you want to not be a bilge rat, think about supporting us on PayPal, Patreon, one of those. Otherwise, come along for the ride for free. Just don't complain a lot. You're just a bilge rat. We seriously thought about just building our own out of this thing. This is the actual torque converter cut apart. You can look at the old video for that. So you can just cobble it together. But for 200 bucks, yeah, I'm not gonna cobble. And Mark is back up to help with it. So yeah, that thing has come off first. Hello, Mark. Hey. So this is the front side of the torque converter and this ring comes off and that goes onto the eliminator. And this is the eliminator. It, it's basically a uh, torque converter that's Say gone on a diet, but it's got a longer shaft on it. So this end goes into the pump, and there's splines back down in there on the bottom. And that flywheel adapter plate goes right on. Where are you going? I'm going to get something to keep it from. Oh, scratching the paint. Yeah. Oh, aren't we being professional now? Right. Where would you learn that? I uh, just... You just don't want to scratch up the years paint. You're working on things. There you go. That. We'll make it so there's a pump back in here that's driven by the torque converter eliminator and there's a seal in here so we're gonna go ahead and change this seal out because well it's a convenient time to do so and we can possibly tear it up by the way we took this out but, uh we pulled the whole transmission off before unbolting the torque converter actually i don't see a problem because you ought to change the seal anyway and there's another seal back in there on the engine behind that flywheel but that engine only has 23,000 miles on it since so a complete rebuild so we're not going to replace that seal there it comes that still has its spring in it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And it's undamaged, didn't it? Yeah. So maybe taking it off this way ain't bad, is it? Nope. Yeah, it's always another way. Out with the old and with the new. But you want seal sealant on this? Something right here between this. All right, let's go get it. That's good Good break time. What I'm sh worried about is it back far enough. Well, that's what I'm asking too. Yeah. We need to get some measurement on it. Yeah. All the way down. Right, and then from here back into where the, where the pump engages right that's spot on spot on yeah so the way this works is these little notches here go through that oil seal and they grab onto little tongues that stick out on both sides that's what turns this oil pump and then oil shoots down this thing and out this end that's what feeds the torque converter or you know used to but what this thing does it just sends it back through the outside here so it just goes down the side here and back into the pump and it circulates through the rest of the gears too essentially it's just just a smaller converter well except right. it has no slip at all right but it's yeah. just smaller i'm really yeah it's just shorter and you lengthen this shaft so it's right. got more metal here rather than a big converter plate right so it's didn't save smaller. much on the weight it's about the same weight Get that gently through the seal you should feel it go through the pump and then through the splines. There went in the splines. Yeah. And then the second measurement is this distance from here to here right. matches that distance. Right. So the lip doesn't count. It's this face here and this face here, that right. distance. That's perfect. Beautiful. Yeah, that's perfect. Letting her do all the work? Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah. yeah. We're just all we're doing is starting them. Oh. And then I'm gonna tighten them up. Huh? Got the gasket in? Gasket's in. Oh yeah. shit. That's oh, forgot doing. the gasket. <laughs> you line up the two that we got cut. And then I'll get you a marker and you kinda of draw a line up from the bottom to the top. So look at this, so driving down the highway, he looks over and sees the boat. Hi. Hey, this Jake is back with us. You thought we were down river, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I thought you guys had left. So the consensus on this thing on the side of the transmission is a kick down cable. So it was hooked up to the throttle cable and when you throttle down really hard, it made the transmission drop down to a lower gear. But you'd have to have it in a higher gear and we're just gonna shift from reverse to neutral to first gear. We never go to second, we never go to D for sure. Yeah. Watch me turn this knob. All you have to do is bitch enough and then it yeah, happens. Yeah, it happens, yeah. People just don't get it. I have to say, Doug, from the wrong angle, that looks mighty inappropriate. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, well, you should have heard how excited Jake was about getting it in the hole. <laughs> it was great. Yeah. It's tin. It's in the hole. I got it in the hole. <laughs> now, Good he's for got you, it in Jake. The hole. He said, no, he's got it in the hole. We was excited because I got in the hole. I was excited he got in the hole. Yeah. Not, it's not a dolphin, though. <laughs> You remember that one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> edit that out. <laughs> no, I think that should be the oh, intro. Yeah, that should be the <laughs> intro. A socket and a net. Dolphins, a nest you seeker. Right. Not yeah. what you're thinking. <laughs> Three quarter. Okay. Well, you could see that there's one hose over there, yeah. and then there's two hoses over here. For this guy. Hey, what is it with this transmission in Sunday? It's the Sunday okay. transmission. Let me wipe that blood off you. The church of transmission no, repair. There we go. <laughs> you just need a little spit on there. It's like better. your mother used to do. Okay. Bolt. Bolt. Thank you. Let's try this hole instead. Go for the dirty holes. Go for the not the dirty holes. You're right. Are. Yeah. No. That one. <laughs> that one. Yeah, that's the right likes one. that one. All right, I need a, I need a wrench or a socket or something. Socket would be What's great. That? I gotta get. Uh, I gotta have that wrench, Jake, to tighten these up. To so you gotta have the hump. The wrench. A range. Uh, I've got it. No, I stole nine it. Oh, hey, look, nine you have That's to dial up the attenuation the on the southern it. translator. Do we have another one? one. How many bolts are in that thing? Eight. Eight. Six. Six. Six to eight out. I think it's eight out. Bump it again. Got a bump. Yes. Bump it. Okay. I, think it, I don't think it went. You don't? Uh, no, it moved. I just don't think it. I think it moved and moved back. Mm -hmm. You want to go further? That turned. Yeah. I moved a bunch. They had a little rock tight on them. A dust cover has to be removed so that you can remove the move the torque converter. That way you can move the torque converter. Why didn't you say that when the downtown transmission was laying up top? I put her up there. We can lay the dust covers down there anyways. But it would have been a lot easier to take the dust cover off. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Wait, Mark, you were supposed to come back with your Britney shirt. Oh yeah, yeah no. But we all wanted to wear it. Yeah, you, we really upset the internet with that one. <sighs> Nut. Nut with washer. Kinda of awesome. <laughs> well, it's almost done. The trick is you bolt the transmission bell housing to the engine and then you gotta reach in and spin the torque converter or the torque converter limiter in our case until its holes match up with the holes in the flywheel. That is not an easy thing to do. But there's a little access hatch in the bottom of the transmission. You open that up and you can literally move that torque converter plate and then over on this side of the engine there's a little hole on the front side of the bell housing down in there that lets you put a bolt through the flywheel and back into a nut that's welded on the torque converter plate and it seems like it's going to be worse than it is but it ain't too bad the only problem is we lost one of the bolts so maybe tomorrow we'll get it done well, one of the side jobs is getting all the water out of our fuel system we made a mistake I should have checked our tanks, but I didn't. And one of them had a lot of rainwater apparently in it from years. And so we put fuel into that tank and then used it. But these filters are great about separating out the water. So now I'm draining off the water, off the bottom of the filters. And we've got to drain it off the tanks and everywhere. And I discovered something wonderful. Let me show you this other gadget too. Now this is an access hatch to a fuel tank. That's a forward port. This is forward starboard. And uh, they're separate tanks, but they're really big tanks. You can actually take this whole hatch off and climb down into it to maintain it. But to inspect it, you just got to take out this plug. And you could just run, you know, a tube down in there. Clear would be great. And I've done that. Stick it down in there, put your thumb over the end, pull it up, and you can see if you have water in the end. But another way is gasola. This is a paste you can buy. It's on Amazon. And all you got to do is get yourself a stick and then smooth some of this on there and let it dry onto the stick. I have already prepared the stick for us. There's the side that has the smooth on it. Now we just dip it into the tank. Wait 10 seconds, watch. One 1,000, two 1,000, 1,000, 10 1,000. Pull that puppy out of there. Look for red on the bottom. This tank has no water in it. It'd be down here at the bottom. It works on diesel, works on gasoline. You can wipe it off, use it two or three times. Go into this tank, which I know has some water in it. 1,000, 10 1,000. Pull it out. Yeah. Look right there. 
I got about three quarter of an inch water in that tank still. So we'll pump that tank down a little bit more. And that little bit of water might have escaped, you know, the old stick tube in, put your finger over the top, pull it up, because the bottom part always falls out a little bit. Now one of the nice things is, is these three filters are in parallel and they all three can be used for filtering fuel coming in from the tanks out in the cargo hole which could possibly have water in them and bringing it into our day tank and it did bring water into our day tank so I'm going to change out that plug down there so I can also drain off the bottom of the day tank easier but I got to get a few inches of water out of there. There's another filter that's used for running the engines and you can see it caught a little bit of water down in the bottom of it but not much and the slime that's with it okay see how easy that is good filter system is wonderful so all the torque converter and lemon air bolts around the starters back on let's give it a kick and make sure she runs fuel on now oh, maybe i'll connect the battery battery's connected now let's try it Okay, all right, so all we need now is transmission fluid and a couple cables hooked up. We'll be ready to go. But we're gonna wait for that because I'm not gonna put transmission fluid in while I'm gonna be away because I'm off to get our whaley boat tomorrow. You'll be seeing that soon, and then we'll come back. We'll give this transmission a run for its money. And no, I still don't know where that water came from, but I'm really sure it's rainwater. It's at least not coming in through the bottom of the boat because it's not coming back as I pump it out. So I'll get around to figuring that out too. And remember, send us your photos of your projects. We want to see what you're doing. It's inspirational. And I hope you have a project. If you don't, turn off the computer, get out in your shop, figure out something you want to do. It's a great way to learn a new skill and make new friends. See you next time. <laughs>